Hello, welcome to part two in the How to Wreck Your Build series. I've wrecked this Death Knight. There he is, Ralph, he's wrecked it. He's got that kit on. Now, to unwreck it, I'm gonna equip that yellow axe and that shield later on, the ones that are down here in my inventory. I've got Heaven's Great Sword, it's all right. Pick that up, start the game. It'll carry you quite a long way. Milton's Cask all that fantastic stuff on there and a bunch of random stuff so the only the only bits of gear i'm going to change to unwreck the build is that axe and that shield what i've got set up here i've got one point in force wave i've got that set on which will let me spam it with a double-handed weapon that's triggered by default weapon attacks that's triggered by default weapon attacks blah 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 same thing and i have men here's will to, because I want to be a tank and on devotions I've got a bunch of tanky stuff and I've got that thing attached to many's will because it's the only thing I can attach it to. Let's see how this fully optimized <laughs> Death Knight fares in the run up to Warden Krieg. I've got no toggle skills obviously I've just got force wave as a spam actually I set this up the way I like it go no I'm not quite as tanky as I thought I'd be it's a surprise isn't it maybe it's because turtle shell triggers at 50% but it's attached to many as will that doesn't become active until 33% health you can see the problem there can't you Yeah, I'm not even going to get to Krieg with this boy. Thought I could embarrass myself by dying to Krieg. I'm not even going to get there. I'll do my best. I've got lost. Don't get lost. I'm obviously super strong. I can just rush in there and <coughs> take Krieg out with one hit. Because why wouldn't I be able to do that? And this might come as a shock to a lot of you watching, but this is what happens to a lot of new players. Look at Krieg's health. Not even many as Will's going to save me from this, is it? Because it's still on cooldown. That's how to wreck your build. So we'll have a look at what I did. What did I do wrong? Everything. Force Wave isn't a default weapon attack replacer. So that, that, that and that were not triggering. And that's only got one point in it. So it's not doing a heck of a lot of damage. That thing triggers at 50% health but it's bound to many as well. It doesn't trigger until 33% health. Let's do a couple of things to this build and change it from being a complete mess to a brutal killing machine. Okay, I've now unwrecked the build. I've ditched Devil's Great Sword. I've equipped that, which on the face of it looks worse than Devil's Great Sword. I've got a shield and the rest of the gear is the same as I had before. There's the soldier skills. Remember I had one point in Force Wave. I've now got one point in Cadence. I put one point in Blitz, it gets the other points from Gear. Put some points in Fighting Spirit, which activates when taking damage. I've got one point in Shield Training. Necro, I've maxed that out. Remember I had that before, I haven't bothered with that. I've got one point in Spectral Binding, I've maxed out Spectral Wrath. Devotions are slightly different. Before I went up to Turtle to be tanky. On this one, I've got Ether Fire on Blitz. And I've got a couple of points in Lizard because I reclaimed the points out of the crossroad node. Turn my toggle skill on. 
Now remember how bad this was. Fighting to Warden Krieg. Let's see how well it does now. You remember how bad the Krieg fight was last time. This is how it goes this time. Why won't you die? Because I'm tougher Krieg, that's why. Right, I didn't have to use any health potions in that fight and it went a lot easier than the original broken character, which should come as no surprise. So let's talk about why that worked. The attributes were the same, the gear's all the same apart from that, just got a little bit of physical damage converted to ether and four ether damage on it. And that shield, the hat's the same, if you notice on that, it does some stuff to blitz which is great and it adds damage to shield training what that means is if you've got a single point in shield training as i have it adds that 32 physical damage onto your weapon attack and all of that's getting well a percentage of that's getting converted to ether so on this on the soldier skills fighting spirit buffs all damage it's not a type specific and it puts your offensive ability up which means you get more of a chance to do critical hits there's only one point in that you might want to put more in there, but I showed you one point in Force Wave and one point in that. The difference is that thing that triggers off default weapon attacks, Force Wave is not a default weapon attack. Cadence is a default weapon attack replacer, so it will trigger Reaping Strike, which gives you that attack damage converted to health. The one point in that, you could put more points in there. That's really only to get me up to here. If you notice what that does, it does Ether Damage and it does resistance reduction the person who's taking damage from spectral wrath it reduces their physical damage resistance and their ether damage resistance so any damage you do increases because their resistance is reduced that's pretty much it it's not that complicated you just got to look at what you're doing and figure out how to buff it ether damage buff on that and that thing does ether damage and fire damage fire damage not so relevant there's a health regen buff and there's a movement speed and a health buff. So I went from a broken character that couldn't do anything really to a pretty strong character. Just a few minor changes and worth mentioning I've not got any components on there. You could put components on all this stuff and drastically improve your chances of survival and your damage output. I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments and I will see you all in the next video.